That was for Ascension. My vengeance ends now. Greetings fellow penguins, it's Danish here, we're back with the marathon. And what are we doing now? We we are we're actually at that point, aren't we, where we're really digging into the shit. We're doing Shangri-La. Fucking Shangri-La. The only the only map where my initial reaction to it upon my first playthrough was any worse that was transit that was the that was the one map that would that I've I had a worse first impression of but Shangri-La my god I hated it when I first played it I eventually got into it believe it or not and at the moment I don't actually mind it as a map in fact the only map that I genuinely hate is transit um, and kind of buried but that's just because of the Easter egg Fuck the buried Easter egg. But anyway, we're not doing that anyway. We're never going to be doing that. Considering this is all solo. Let's get to Shangri-La. And I remembered to shove my play and charge kit in this time. And it looks like I don't need to this time. It's already fully charged. Oh well, if this goes any, anything like the last two playthroughs, I'm going to need the charge. Two hours last time. Nikolai again, okay? No worries. What would we do if the power was already on? I know, I know. Never going to happen. Haha. <laughs> so that's a moon. I mean, when you when you're in when you first start the power's on. Oh, there it is, the rock. Right. So then, what did Sh let's have a talk about Shangri-La. What did Shangri-La introduce to zombies? Well, um... Uh, the Spike Moors, which is just a stronger variant of the Claymore, but just to suit the area. So that's... kind of counts, I suppose, and um... Oh, we've got the Shrink Ray, which, to be fair, is likely the best wonder weapon in Zombies. In fact, it is the best wonder weapon in Zombies, next to uh, next to the weapons like, you know, the Wave Gun, the Wonder Waff, Thunder Gun, Sliquifire. Yeah, the Sliquifire is pretty good. It's a one-hit kill. It can spread infinitely if the, zombie is, if the zombies are trained properly. But, to my knowledge... The uh, Shrink Ray, or on this map, is known as the 3179 JGB215. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's the most unnecessary name for a weapon ever. I'll call it Shrink Ray. It's the, to my knowledge, it's the only wonder weapon that one hits at any round and allows power ups to spawn upon death. Likely because um, the weapon itself is not what kills them. The weapon just puts them in an insta-kill state. And, me and merely running into them will kill them. This probably makes the Shrink Ray the best weapon in Zombies. It's the only weapon to actually do that. What? The only weapons are one hit at any round and drop power-ups. Until a patch, the Paralyzer did this as well. However, the power with the Paralyzer, it takes even longer. As the rounds go on, the Paralyzer will take longer to actually kill them. The Paralyzer is technically a, not a one-hit kill weapon. However, it does have infinite ammo to compensate for this. But in fact, after a recent patch, the Paralyzer no longer actually kills zombies from round 70 onwards. 
I'm not even kidding. Which is kind of bullshit, but at the same time, kind of fair. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I kind of didn't want to hit them three times. Fuck. I wasn't sure which way he was coming from there, and he took me from the ass there. Eh? One thing I haven't checked here, where's the box? Oh, that's great. Right, well, let's start moving. This is annoying. Well, at least we know where Juggernaug is. Stone. Um. I could go down and grab the MP5, MP5K, I mean, but then I'd be able to have access to the box as well, so I mean, I'll just grab the PM63. The killing starts now. Yeah, it's not the best weapon, but it'll tide me over for a while, I suppose. Oh, max ammo. What's with the frame rate? Surely I'm not the only one seeing this. The frame rate keeps going down a bit. Keeps getting... Especially... It's the fucking waterfall! The waterfall's making the frame rate really fucking choppy. Jesus, my accuracy. There's nothing really, there's nothing else that Shangri-La actually introduced. It was just a wonder weapon and a new variant of the Claymores. That is it. Like Thanks, Shangri-La. Wasted my time. Right. Just to speed things up, I'm not keeping this. You can fuck right off if you think I'm keeping this. Python. <laughs> Alright, where's the last zombies? I'll just move on with what I have, I suppose, or just... Oh, it was one zombie and he wasn't even fucking running. He was supposed to run. Oh wait, that only happens on Black Ops 2. Sorry, I was thinking, um, it's on Black Ops. Oh, really? That's what you give me? Today is not a good day. I'm gonna get screwed over if I stay here too long. Thing is, I need another weapon because this thing's running out. But I need to move on because I'll get killed here if I stay here. I mean, sure, I got the python, and for now, the python's a, a the python's a one a, a one hit, which could be useful right now. I need time to reload. And there's a monkey somewhere close by as well. Can't even fucking see it. Where is the monkey? Where is the monkey? Come on, just one more. Looks like the last guy. Spaz 12. I'll have to take it. See, I was lucky to get out of that. Really? Right, okay, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I want to get Juggernaut, that's... Oh, fuck, Shrieker Zombie, that's what they introduced. What the fuck? I took his head off. That's one thing that's um, quite... 
I forget the word. It's kind of uh, misunderstood. That's the word. I'm thinking of misconceived. That, that's not even a fucking word, man. I just joined again. <laughs> again, I, you know, spread that word. Okay, that's one thing you got to watch out for as well. If a power-up spawns and um, it's there for about a full second, the monkey, one of the monkeys will start walking towards it, trying, trying to grab it. If they pick it up, they'll try and take it back. But as they take it back, um, it'll start changing. So you can try and use this to, like, say if a carpenter spawns, change it to a max ammo. Just let the monkey pick it up, and when it max, when it turns to a max ammo, kill the fucking monkey. But um, it's also quite risky. If you do manage to pick it up, uh, pick up the power up after the monkey's notice it, then um, the monkey will go for you. Then if he hits you, he'll nick a bit of your cash. And then, uh, but if you kill it before it hits you, you'll get 500 points. And that and that's affected by double points as well. So that's a thousand points if you manage to kill it when you have double points, which is pretty fucking cool. All right, come on, come on, reload, reload! Oh fuck, napalm zombie! Not good, not good at all. Again, something else that um, this map introduced. Two new variants of zombies. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to open the door. They're pushing me back! This map introduced Shrieker zombies, which is what you saw before. The zombie in a fucking turban. And Napalm zombies, which is that thing! On the, right there! That thing, you know, the, the thing that's on fucking fire! With the napalm zombies, they're slow, but they're really fucking dangerous. If it exp if you go anywhere near it, it'll blow the fuck up and damage you to hell. But if you ki if you kill it, it blows up anyway. There we go, managed to kill it. If you kill it yourself, you'll gain about what 300 points. Shriek um, napalm zombies are not part of the rounds. Like, if you kill all the zombies regularly the and the round will cycle, the napalm zombie will still be alive. But I, I think as, um, if a napalm zombie or a trigger zombie is alive, neither of the two can spawn. So only one of the special zombies can be alive at once. There we go. It's probably my fav one of my favourite Easter egg songs next to, you know, Not Ready to Die in Africa Dava. And Shepherd of Fire as well. Oh, fuck, another napalm. I just. There we go, that's 3,000 points. When it comes and when it comes to Shrieker zombies, they have around about the same HP as a regular zombie, uh, uh, but they 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 can hit you normally like a regular zombie, but they sprint to all hell, as you noticed before. But they can also scream at you, which distorts your screen. Um, one thing that people have said: if you kill them while they're screaming, then the zombies near them will die. That is not quite the case, actually. How it works is, if you headshot it, you kill it by a headshot, or if you blow its headshot and it still starts walking, if it's he if you kill it with, if its head is gone, it dies without its fucking head, that is when it makes the massive shrieker explosion upon death that kills all nearby zombies. That shriek, that shriek, that kind of shriek a shock wave that it makes when you kill it with a headshot doesn't affect you but it only does that if you headshot it oh fucking win I'm not doing too well for weapons I'm not sure which is worse right now really not sure why I picked it up 
So it's just a, well, to speed shit up, I suppose. Oh, come on, really? What am I meant to do with these things? Right, so... Also, when it comes to the Pack-a-Punch, uh, you need to step on a stone to kind of, you know, straighten that statue out. When all stones are pressed down, you can have all the, um... You can have the pack of, the pack punch becomes available. When it comes to co-op, the amount of sto stones you've got to step on is equal to the amount of people in your game, which becomes a problem if someone's either dead or unwilling. It's like, thanks, I need, I want to upgrade my weapon, but one guy has decided, no, I can't be fucking asked, or I'm dead, so I can't. This makes Shangri-La a really bad court map, and that was the, that's the effect of the Shrieker screen, which isn't actually that bad. See, that wasn't a headshot. That made that means it, um, so it couldn't really kill zombies. Crawlers might be useful at this point. Yeah, slow crawler. Oh, there was already a fucking slow crawler. If you've got, if you've got, you know, like the time. Hang on, see if I can kill it with a fucking ballistic knife. Oh, what a shot! That was done fucking throat. Commando, now we got some good shit. Come on, let's keep that theme going. Famous. Okay, come on. What else? The ray gun! What the fuck? Really, looking looking back, Shangri La didn't do anything that um, like didn't introduce anything that stuck in zombies, except for special except for zombies that spawned at random during the game. In this, we've got the napalm and the shrieker zombies, only one of which can spawn at a time. Um, in Moon, you've got the Astronaut Zombie, which isn't as much of a problem, but uh, but can be a threat if you're unprepared. In Transit, you've got Avogadro, which is kind of scripted. In a way, it's like if you time the lightning right, then it'll spawn. Though I still haven't been able to get the knack for that. Right, where's the monkey? Shit. I'm, I, forget, I keep forgetting I haven't got PhD yet. Oh, there we go. I killed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fire zombie literally spawned right under me. Napalm zombie isn't um, heavily affected by insta kill. It is slightly effective, but not to a huge extent. Oh, Galeo. Come on. One thing that's annoying about this map is only four box spawns. I mean, really? Well, actually, thinking about it, that's actually not too bad. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But not all of them are good spawns. Like, I mean, here is okay, I suppose. The one at the starting area is really closed off. The one at the waterfall, you've already seen how bad that is. And then you've got the one, the last one, which is, um... I might as well go there, I'm just going to go there now, fuck it. It's near the best training spot, I just need to open one more fucking door. Right here. 
which again is quite closed off. There isn't actually any decent spawn for the box. Shrieker zombie. Don't know where he spawned. Oh, there he is. Okay, fair enough. I was okay. I correct myself from earlier. If you kill it with either, if you kill it with either a headshot, or while it, or while it's um, or while it's screaming, then it'll um, you do that shockwave that kills all all nearby zombies. Right. One thing that's also annoying about this map. Which carried over to Die Rise is the random perk spawns. Juggernaut and Speed Cola swap places. But Quick Revive doesn't. Quick Revive is the only one that doesn't swap, which is is okay is good considering solo. However, the other four perks, which is you know Deadshot, Stamina, Double Tap, and PhD, do swap places. Mule Kick doesn't because obviously that was added. What was it? September 2011. It's only available when you connect to Xbox Live. Ah, oh, fucking napalm zombie again. This this is a, the, easily the best training spot. All you need is the J. You know, is the um. The 215. Or the shrink frame, whatever you want to fucking call it. Yeah! Well, where is it? It's difficult to know where the monkey spawns from. Keep in mind, if wherever a napalm zombie explodes, any zombies near it will die. Any zombies walking into the napalm they leave behind will die. And if you're the one to kill it, and any zombies nearby die from the explosion, then you'll get points for the napalm and the regular zombie. Which is pretty cool. Alright. Oh, wait, I need speed collar, don't I? What are we doing? Yeah, spike moors right there. I want to get double tap, but... It's not the most useful of perks. It's much better in uh, Black Ops 2, I will admit. If you want an effective way... Um... Ooh, this would be good. If you want um, an, effect, um, an effective way to like, avoid the napalm, easy thing to do is when you kill the napalm zombie, make sure you kill it while he's in water. The, you know the... Um, as you get closer to it, the, the screen it's like your screen's burning. That won't happen in um, when it's in water, and the napalm won't be left behind. The explosion will still have a blast. Obviously, it'll still be an explosion. It'll still have that blast radius, and whatever's near it will get damaged. But the napalm won't be left behind. So it's weakened in water, but it's not. But it's still dangerous. Oh, Shrieker Zombie. Fuck, man. Okay, so the ray gun instantly kills it anyway. It makes the shockwave. I keep having to rethink my theories here. I don't want to open that door. That screws up the train. Whoa, fucking hell, where'd you come from? Oh, that's much better. It's just, speed call is one of those things, you don't realise how much you miss it until you get it, and then it's like, oh my god, that's so much fucking better. That kind of looked a bit faster. Right, I don't open that door. So I'm going to have to go all the way around. I want to try and get the JGB. Or GJB, I keep forgetting. Ah, there's the stone i got to step on. Problem is, like I said before, you've got to have all players step on the stones at the same time. 
So any unwilling or dead player will prevent anyone from getting the pack a punch. This, thankfully, doesn't carry over to any other map. The closest you get to that is um, Transit. Again. Uh, a similar, something similarly screwed up. Why well, I just missed a fucking water jacket had gone up. A similar thing that could screw people over in a different way, but still involved other, and still involved teammates, was in Mob of the Dead, but not to such a bad, not to such a big extent. But I mean, in transit, you need to have a fucking turbine in order to get to the pack a punch. But that's not so bad. You can do that on solo. That's not a big deal. But the tr but the turbine is sometimes quite unreliable. And in Mob of the Dead, you've got to build the plane, get on the plane, you get to the pack a punch. Someone can easily get on the plane before anyone else is ready, or before anyone else even got there, even got to the plane, causing them to get stranded on Alcatraz while one guy goes to pack a punch. It's like, thanks, asshole, you just leave us to die, yeah. No big deal there. Monkey! Hey, monkey! Good. Fuck you! <laughs> Nikolai doesn't like the monkey. I guess. You bitch! Jump on it! Oh, I'm too late. Right, there's only two other spots to leave the way at the power room or by the AK. Where is it? Power room. Right, I just want to get the fucking shrink ray. It seems to be quite a rare weapon I've noticed on Changbala. That's a python. The fuck am I meant to do with that? I kind of wish I didn't swap up my commando. Well, it's probably just to speed things up, and the Galil is the same power, with just a bit more ammo. China Lake. Really? Let's see if I can... Oh, there you are. Fuck you. Right. Just as just as I could. This is why is that with me? I don't even know what I'm doing. Nope, don't bother asking. I suppose next, like I suppose I should have gone for like the Bowie or maybe the Spike Moors, seeing as they'll be quite useful. Oh dear, Napalm. At least your character gives warning whenever a special zombie decides to show up. Ooh, insta-kill. At least, I like, I do kind of like how the napalm zombie is attracted to the monkey. Yeah! Don't know where the fucking monkey is. Wait, did the monkey die in the fire? I think it may have died in the fire. Ah, there's a crawler. I'll grab spike more, I'm gonna have to haul a box again. When it gets to the higher rounds, I'm gonna need that shrink ray. Trust me. Surely you remember from Ascent from Ascension and Call of the Dead, the ray gun will not last. Hey, look, a new toy. That's a famous. Here's a spike more. One thing one thing about it is it is more powerful than the regular claymores. One thing to keep in mind.
Oh, well, I bounced off right, right at the rim of the fucking bucket. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right in. It's like throwing a scrap of paper into the bin. Seeing how far you can do it from. It's not even showing it as it cycles the weapons. I mean, at least it did that with a fucking thunder gun. Back in that, you know, Ascension and Kino. Especially Ascension. Oh, shit. That's the dragon off. That's not what I'm after. Not at all. There we go. I can try again. Don't even want the fuck they are. Or what they're for, I mean. That's a fucking shotgun. Alright, let's fight more. Right then, spike more there, and spike more there. Denied! There is literally nothing about this map of interest to talk about. Whoa! Fucking hell! Even this is a risky spot to train. Oh, another napalm. But I'm not sure. Oh, it's right over there. Thankfully, it's attracted by a monkey. Oh, fuck, it's a new. I'm not sure if that was the ray gun or the monkey that finished that guy off. By the looks of it, it could have been either. And where's the where's the monkey? Nope. Right, come on. Where's the JGB? That's a knife. What am I meant to do with a knife? This is going to be quite the cycle. I get a shit ton of points. I haul the box. Don't get it. Rinse and repeat. Fuck. This is not going to end well. Oh, there's more monkeys on the way. Oh, fuck. Shriekers on me. Where'd he come from? Ha! <laughs> I probably should have waited until the monkey exploded, then killed the Shrieker. Right, let's try and make some crawlers now. There we go, three slow ones. Three slow crawlers and a fucking reload. No, get off, I'm not doing that again. Oh, I thought I killed all... Oh, wait, there's another one there. Oh, fuck you then. Well, I suppose one thing they introduced, for the first time, female zombies. So I suppose that's one thing. There it is! Why would I want to make it smaller? There's the fucking gun. Do not 
So what is this? 3179JGB215. What the fuck kind of name is that? Right, hang on. I'm gonna pack punch the ray gun. And actually, no, I'm gonna go for the bowie knife. Right. This is easily, like I said before, the best wonder weapon in the game. It hasn't got the most ammo, but it can hit. It can deal with hordes like nothing, regardless of rounds. However, napalm zombies are resistant. I only say, well, I say resistant. They, because uh, if you take too long to kill a zombie when it's shrunk, it ends up growing back to normal size. The napalm zombie will grow back to normal size almost instantly. See, that's fucking win. It's like one of the best wonder weapons ever. All you need to do is just walk into them. The um, mini zombies can damage you, but they do very minimal damage. One thing to keep in mind, napalm zombies are completely unaffected by... Um, what's it called? They're completely unaffected by... Um, what's it fucking... Uh, they're completely unaffected by spike wars. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I'm just wasting it. Jesus, what am I doing? There we go. That's one thing I tend to do. Fire sale, sweet. One thing you can do with the um, JGB, though, in order to easily deal with the napalm zombie, is even if you do shrink it and walk into it like you were in the end zombie, um... It will still explode and damage you. The damage won't be as high, but it will still damage you. So what you want to do is just chuck a grenade, and then just as it's about to explode, shrink it, and the grenade will one-hit it. You'll only get the you only get the 50 points for the grenade kill. Though I believe the point I believe it only does that because the zombie's shrunken, so it counts as a JGB kill. But still, that will easily dispose of an Ethan zombie. If you um, shrink a Shrieker zombie and kick it, I think I'm not. I think it. Um, I think it doesn't. I don't think it does the um, the shock the uh, after death shock wave. If you um, shrink, if you shrink a monkey, the monkey will die instantly. Let me show you an example. You see this monkey? You see this monkey right here? Now you don't. The best disappearing act ever. Who else would like to volunteer? You're bitches. You're all a bunch of pussies. Where's the fucking monkeys gone? Did they all pussy out? No, there's one up there. Oh, there's one there as well. Fuck you. Yeah! Shrink all the monkeys! Which, uh, it turns out I already have. Because fuck monkeys. There's nothing really else I need now. I've got everything. All I need to do is upgrade the JGB and I'm sorted. I can't even remember what my record on Shangri-La is. I really can't. Thirty, like one, it's like high thirties, I think. Maybe, maybe a bit less. It's around, it's around about the mid thirty mark. At a guess, I could check right now, but I can't be fucking asked. I'll try not to waste the JGB this time. Trigger zombie. Now I can try and test out. Come on then. 
Oh, come on! I couldn't see! It looked like they did the shockwave, I'm not sure if that's because it was um, sh shrieking. Right, okay, I should save this thing now for when it's when it's a horde. Oh, there's like a splatter of guts, but nothing actually broke. Like, its head didn't fucking explode. Oh wait, its arm. Right, okay. It lost his arm. Right, so this is surprisingly low on ammo. Well, no, not surprisingly, considering I fucking wasted it. Why am I so bad? I think for me, it's kind of learning the best route to take for this map. Ooh, fuck, you know. I thought there was like random letters on the floor, but no, it's just a collection of, you know, feet. A connection of a collection of fucking limbs. Monkey! Really? Did I really do that? What the fuck? I threw a monkey there. Ah, there we go. Get too close and he automatically explodes. I don't know why that second monkey didn't work. Oh, at least the napalm's worn off now. I thought I heard a shriek a zombie then. Okay, I'm gonna head off and uh, pack a punch. Okay, that's not the one. Every time you pack a punch, you need to go and find which pad yet again is the right pad, because it changes every fucking time. Unless, of course, it's four player. Because then it's all of them. I can just hope... All I can do is hope it's... Good, yes, it's this one. As long as it's not the one over that way, I'm alright. Right, let's pack punch this thing. It doesn't seem necessary, really, at this round, but... I've been wasting it. Right. So, now we've got the Fractalizer. Right, so that's it, we're sorted. There's nothing else to grab. All I can do now is try and train them. Come on. Where, I don't know where they're coming from. Ouch. I didn't know what that was for a minute. I shit myself. Right, come on. Just train them up. There you go. That's, that's, that was pretty good, actually. That got almost all of them. That was fucking win. There you go, that's the best thing you can do really for this map. 
Oh, there's a Shrieker. So the ray gun automatically kills it. It automatically gives it that fucking shock wave. Not for me. Bitch. Ha! Gotta love that. Nuke! Whoa, and dumb points. Just in time for the nuke point as well. Okay, same as before. Let's try and get this right. Oh wait, they're the last ones. Well, almost. There's always that one late camera, isn't there? Oh, I, I keep forgetting there's a little temple over there. Piss off, piss off. I hate it when zombies decide to decide to think, oh, I'm going to show up late at work today. There's always one spot that's covered in limbs, especially, f like, fucking legs. How many crawlers did I kill here? Oh, and little baby zombies. Ow! Fuck, fuck, no, no, okay, that was lucky. Ooh, again, lucky. Try and get them all into a final group. A bit more, and bang! Right then. Not sure why I would even need a fire sale at this point. Oh, napalm. Right there. The fractalizer does increase the amount of time zombies are shrunk, which does affect the napalm zombie. But again, it does grow back quicker than a regular zombie. Jesus, I'm just training them in a fucking circle here. Alright, come on. Oh, I was just close enough to get hit. Some people used to think the PhD would have blocked against Napalm's explosion, which makes sense. But that would kind of eliminate the entire purpose of the Napalm zombie. It'd be completely it'd be a completely unnecessary zombie. Cons especially since it doesn't count towards the round. You wouldn't even have to kill it. If you had PhD, you could just leave it alive for the entire game. I thought there was a, um... I thought there was another zombie behind me. Come here, my little zombies! Bitch. <laughs> Look how graceful it died! Wait, what is that? I didn't even notice he was wearing a fucking gas mask. It's like, not how fucking graceful that shit is! I think the one looks like the one arm is doing a reach around though. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm pushing my luck a little bit too much in this one. At least I got a decent map after this one. After this one's done, though. Oh my god, it hit every single one! And I managed to hit a max ammo and a carpenter. See that? This, that is exactly why this is such a good wonder weapon. Max ammo.
See? Best way to deal with an napalm. Even if it's only slightly in the napalm's range, it'll kill it if it's shrunk. Same with everything that shrinks. Same with the fucking monkeys. Which probably explains why the JGB insta-kills it. That wasn't what I had in mind, but that worked. Oh my god! It's just a pool of fucking blood! I think that's what I'm gonna do. Once I once I shrink an entire horde, I'm gonna blow it up. I, just because I want to see a massive pool of fucking blood. All right, and go. Ah. Oh. Not quite as good as I'd hoped. Fuck it, where's the monkey? I kind of want to know how... I kind of like to know how painful this is for it. Just a little pool of fucking blood. And that bit was one part of the fucking... That was a dud shot there. Even in Shangri-La, there's dud shots. What the fuck? It's gonna happen on Moon, isn't it? I'm gonna get the wave gun. Oh dear. Oh fuck. All right, let's go for a monkey. The decent monkey. Come on, just a bit longer. <laughs> See, like, I just love the pool of blood. Oh, nuke. Whoa, wait. Where the fuck did you come from? Wait, what's that? Fuck off. Fair enough. I'll take it. Oh, monkey's close. Very close. Any slower it would've nah, it would have grabbed me. We I kind of want to. I kind of want to do that. It just looks f so fun. Sure, I kind of be dead, but still, it looks fun. Why? Why are a couple of these guys wearing gas masks? This doesn't exactly look like a hazardous zone. Unless it's, of course, because of the zombie infection. What the f- Oh, shit, random spider. This it's just a picture. I'll be honest, I never noticed that before. But I'll be honest, again, I'll be honest, I am slightly arachnophobic. Only slightly. Only when it comes to real fucking spiders. Hate spiders so much. Just a bit more. Just a little bit more. Just, it's still fucking spawning. And it still reached the last zombie. Ha! <laughs> zombie airline! Win! 
Okay, now I'll test it. Shrink. Kick. Yes, it does do the um, shockwave. So I suppose it's the same principle as the, um, in a way, the same principle as the fucking Nova Zombies. Because, I mean, if you kill Nova Zombies with bullets, then it will explode. But anything else, it won't explode. Kind of a similar thing with the, um, what's it called? With the, um, I was going to say the Turban Zombie. <laughs> what the fuck? The Turban Zombie. That's what it totally should be called from now on. The Turban Zombie. Shrieker Zombie. If you kill it with bu if you kill it with anything but bullets, then it'll do the shockwave. Not sure about melee attacks though. I haven't tried that. Or if you kill it with a headshot. Wait, what the fuck? Why is half? Why is like half then? It's connected, but at the same time, it's not. Like its player model says, it's fucking connected. There's just one massive gap. Just why? I thought that was a napalm zombie spawning then. Then I quickly realised, oh wait, I've already killed the fucking Shrieker. Why would you put zombies in vodka? If anything, that would poison the fucking vodka. Oh, another dead shot there. No. Fucking hate monkeys. But again, it's quite apparent that I hate a lot of things. In fact, I think I, th I hate all I hate more shit than I like. That's what I. That's what. That's, what, that's what's quite apparent at this point. It looks as if I keep doing, if I keep playing like this, I could end up beating my record. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Oh, and there's the napalm. Yeah, it still worked. Wasted a few shots there. Whoa, fuck. I'm kind of relying on the JGB at this point. Oh, shit. What the hell kept hitting me? Ah uh -huh. He's still spawning? Oh my god. Insta-kill. In almost every... In almost every horde of zombies that I shrink, I'll get a power up. Every time. Fuck off. Just because you have tits doesn't mean you'll get special treatment. Imagine that, zombie feminists. Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about the real feminists, I'm talking about those dumbasses that decide, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a feminist. It's like, men are all fucking assholes, we should... Like, if you, you, can make, you can make fun of a man, that's okay, but if a man makes fun of a girl, that's fucking sexist. No, that's not how it works. That is not how it should work. Fuck! No! Fuck! Fuck, man! How did I survive that? I'm sure there were a couple of zombies, like, behind me, to the side of me, that went for me. Was it because I killed the Shrieker zombie and the Shockwave killed the zombies before they could actually land a hit?
Oh, there's the max ammo. Literally the only thing now that's going to be happening is just it's going to... Every round's going to take just a bit more ammo each. I don't know, you're just reversing into him. Beep, beep, beep. It's a fucking... That's what Nikolai should have a fucking beeper on him. Okay, I knifed him there. One thing I completely forgot about was the fucking PhD flop. I mean, let's be honest, when do you ever use that? Again, the late zombie. Look who showed up. Right, I need to see the fucking light on. You just don't realise how quickly how quickly it gets dark. Oh, Carpenter. Do I even need Carpenter? Oh, fire sale. Again, fire sale. Do I even need that? I need that even less. Oh my god, so many shots missed. Fuck! I don't like it when zombies slap my ass. Go away. There's always some that miss. One thing that is quite funny is listening to a zombie trying to like scream at you while it's fucking shrunk. Oh, I couldn't even hear it because there was one raping my ass. Fuck off! This is fucking Sparta times a thousand. Oh fuck, Napalm. How he didn't explode is beyond me. <laughs> this auto aim shit is annoying me. Oh, fuck! Oh, wow, that was my fault being careless. I thought I could slip by. There was another zombie behind. Caught me off guard there. At least the monkey came back. Oh, fuck. That's one problem when you go down. If Juggernaut's not there, you're gonna have to double back all the fucking way. Let's not forget, I've got to get PhD as well and quick revive. Still 27 for my first down. Not bad considering it's Shangri La. Why have I got a baby blue marker on my fucking ray gun? Quick revive. Come on. A bit faster. There we go. Water slide! Just need to get back to the fucking spot now without these assholes cutting me off. And I just realised I went the wrong way. What? 
Oh wow, you jump and it cancels it out. I don't know how I didn't hit this one. It's funny listening to a zombie when it's trying to. It's funny listening to a zombie trying to be threatening while it's a fucking baby. I thought that was a python for a second. <laughs> right, come on, better start training him again. Whoa, fucking hell. Since when did Nikolai have a train set? Oh, we got an Akon. Oh yeah, I did get it, sweet. Might as well kind of use the napalm as a shield for a bit. Do you not belong though? Whoa! Fucking hell! I did not see that one coming. That didn't go so well. I didn't expect to be surrounded so fucking fast. Let alone go down just as fast. Quick revised, gone. I still need to get Juggernaut and speed. Right. Oh, Jay, I didn't realize it. Didn't even notice that zombie when I first ran past. Come Ah, oh. oh, fucking reload cancelled. Need to reload this thing. There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck that, he's got that spike through his fucking throat. Oh, max ammo. Too close. Way too fucking close. Did I fucking crush the zombie? I'm screwing up royally now. So wait, what should I get when I lose quick revive? Maybe st I think I'll get stamina up actually, think about it.
I keep forgetting there's like inscriptions on some of the zombies bodies I forget exactly where Shangri-La is based. I'll have to check that. Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure how long I'm going to fucking last at this point anyway. Either way, it looks like this is not going to be as long a playthrough as Call of the Dead. My god, two fucking hours. Was it two hours and ten and a half minutes? Then that pretty much hit the mark. Oh! Squeeze through that gap with a maximum of two hits. Oh, Shrieker Zombie. Dealt with it. A couple of zombies to ended up getting taken with them. Right now, There's, aside from this place, there is no good training spot, and this isn't a watertight training spot. Oh fuck. Ah, on the computer and Xbox at the same time, not a good mix. Whoa, fucking hell. I really do need to get rid of the auto aim. What the fuck? I just, I just typed in Shangri-La and it came up Shangri-La Cardiff. There is no Shangri-La in Cardiff! I would fucking know! How many are left? Why are they so fucking scattered and why are they late? But now he shows up. Wow, four hits it took. That one took two hits. Alright, what the fuck? Shangri-La is a hotel range. Oh wow, Shangri-La Cardiff. The sounds of Shangri-La. I don't even know what that is. What is it? Just a load of spikes shooting into fucking flesh and then a load of baby zombies just flying across from one from one headphone to the other just just randomly like a fucking car Jeez, I'm just relying on this thing now isn't he round 30 Oh, double points. I don't even need it. All I need is the points to refund my perks one last time and I'll be fine. Right, I'm not sure. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, fucking game. There's always one that just avoids the effect, barely. Why am I always cornering myself? What the fuck? I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know where that was. Apparently, this isn't the fucking Himalayas. Whoa, shit in hell. I'm dead. I am so totally dead. Right, maybe I'm not. Can at least grab stamina from PhD. See, this is one thing. Where does it even reveal the location of this map? Since, since when is Nikolai a, a fucking food critic? Well, then again, he's a drink critic, considering the amount of vodka. He could be. He could consider himself to be fucking anything. Whoa! Fucking hell! I completely forgot how many crawlers this would have made. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Fuck you. Sound it may actually help. Wow, 61 headshots. That's how few decent accuracy bullets. This is how that's how few decent bullet-based weapons I had. All I had was the commando and the Galil. I barely used either of them. I mean, yeah, the PM63, sure. I mean, that was in the really early rounds. And the first three rounds, I ended up going for knife kills. Leaving that... Leaving the starting room with only one headshot. On. Yeah, nuke. Oh, what's that? Anyone else want the shot? I don't know where the bastard thing took it. You little shit, get back here! Eh, <laughs> max ammo! Well, I don't know what it was, but in the end it became something useful. How much health do you have?! What the fuck?! Right, so that didn't go as expected. Came out with the max ammo, so no complaints, I suppose, except for the fucking Shrieker zombie. Being slightly overpowered there. Whoa! Didn't even see the horde there. 
Didn't even realize it was there. It's always annoying when half the zombies don't, aren't within range. Where the fuck did you come from? Get off! No! I killed from behind! Well, round 31 and we're done with Shangri-La. Right, I didn't even see those guys coming. But no big deal, no big deal. Round 31, not too bad. Even though I had the fucking fractalizer. So, yeah, Shangri-La is done, thank fucking Christ. Next will be Moon, hooray. A decent map. Debatably. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Give us a like, give us a favourite, subscribe to become part of the Penguin Army so we can beat the chair squad. Fuck the chairs. Um, and until next time, fellow penguins, Danish out.